Smartboard Revolution Google Plus Community presents a smart survival guide. I'm your host, Matt Granger, and this episode is Understanding Layers. In Smart Notebook, every object you put on the page is a new layer. If I do this heart here, it is now a new layer, and since it was the last thing that I created, it is on top of the previous layer. Being able to figure out how to create certain effects or how they are working all has to do with layers. You have two objects, and that's not the order that you want them. By clicking on one of them in the drop down menu, there's an order option. Since this is the one on top, bring to front and bring forward are grayed out. I can send it to the back, that would put it all the way to the back layer or send backward that would be one layer at a time and you would use that if you're trying to put several things on top of each other and you need an object to be in a specific place you send backward send backward until it's behind the one that you want it behind and in front of the layer that you want so if I send it backward now the heart is the back layer and the text is the front layer basically that's it this shows with pens Right, same thing here, you got black. So that's your back layer. Now you can see the red is covering the black. The green is covering the red, which is covering the black. Everything is a new layer. When you're trying to put things and they're going behind, it's because of the layering. Figure out the pattern. Drag the hand across this slider bar. So there's the first clue, three. So how is this working? How are these appearing? Now if you need a hint, oh, it says drag here for a hint. So I'll drag that. And then finally, I get the rule. So I have this page here again, and I've taken it apart a little bit, this object. The numbers are there, and they disappear. How's that happening? These two were grouped. So when I move this, it would move this box. So we have this purple box that was grouped with the hand. So as you move the hand, it would move the purple box. So what's underneath the purple box? This yellow box with a red number on top of it. Why is the purple going over the numbers but not covering up the one that says rule? It's all layers. These in the background are below the purple. This one is above it. Same thing here. The text and a white rectangle grouped and this rectangle is, can you tell, it's on top of this purple. How do those purple numbers show in the white box? They are in a layer above the purple box and below the white box. And when we have the purple background color those numbers disappear because they blend in with the background. The only way that they show up is when the white box goes below them. Now the background color, that's not considered a layer. This purple box is in front of the yellow boxes with the numbers, but below the word rule, and it's obviously on top of these. Now does it matter that it's on top of this white box and this? No, because when it's put all together, this box and the hand and then grouped you don't drag the box down here so it doesn't matter you're supposed to just slide across so that's how these things are created layers things on top of other things so if I make it and oh it's not working right hey what's going on I just have to find the right layer for it if I send it backward, each of those numbers are going to be in different layers. I'm going to have to do that many times. To me, the easiest, send it all the way to the back, since it has to be beneath all of them, and now it works. Oh, but now look what happened. See, it can get kind of tricky. This is why you have to understand layers. You just have to find the right combination. This has to be below send it to the back now it's below everything that puts the hand below this we don't want that so let's send this to the back that one now it's not going to interfere with anything else i'm going to go ahead and lock it my hand in my purple box it's going behind everything except that slider bar 
so that's good for this because it should be behind that but it needs to be in front of all these so it has to go on top of these below that one and on top of that to me the easiest way is to group them so i'm going to hold down the control button on a pc a command button on a mac and select those and i'm going to group them i like to group things that have to stay together because now these notice are a group not the rule because that has to be in a different layer so now these have to go behind the purple so i'm going to send these all to the back and this one is still at the front so i'll go ahead and lock that down so there we go everything is in the correct layer understanding layers is an important part of understanding how to create notebook lessons and how they work